Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Hoffbergman Explained video. Today, we're going to take a look at the compost facility, which was added to the 1.5 update of Hoffbergman. And we're going to find this just down the street from the main starting farm. So we have our main starting farm located right here. We take the road to the west as if we were coming down here to our vehicle shop. Right across the T intersection, there is now the new compost facility. And as such, field 21 has been reduced a bit. We have farmland ID 93. That can go for $166,896. Inside the compost facility, we have a few things in addition to the compost master, the palletizing machine, and the stone crusher. To our right, should I say to our left here, we have fuel storage and a maintenance trigger. And then to the right of the entrance, we have two storage locations to store compost. Now, if we walk into these, you see we do not get the compaction trigger like we would with respect to the bunker where we can compact organic waste into compost at the main starting farm. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and take a look back through our Hoff Bergman Explained playlist where we talk about compost initially. This video is an additive video to that one. Everything that you know already about compost still remains. In addition, we have this facility here, which is where we're going to be able to dump various inputs and convert it into organic waste. So for example, here we have a trailer load of straw. We're gonna do a force unload. And as this is being unloaded, it is basically being converted into organic waste and organic waste is going to be the input into our compost master. We need to load our compost master. Get a nice load of organic waste. We're going to have to dump that into the top. Then we can come over here and activate the compost facility with left click or we can simply hit R. As you can see, organic waste is the input. Compost and stones are the output. Once we start the facility, we have our beacon that turns on. We also, we also have a lot of noise. We have a sifter where we have our compost and then rocks, which are gonna be also a production output. At night, we can turn on the lights with left click. And we can also convert this machine from new to aged and worn out by using the trigger around the side. Once we have some compost, we'll be able to collect that. And we're going to need to put that into our packaging facility or we could simply use or sell this compost in bulk. In this video, we're going to load it into our composting facility, packaging facility. Here we can see what we can do with respect to our loose or bulk compost. We can take it to the BGA, the land market, or the Rafistine market. Probably butchered that. Or we can take our palletized compost again to the Rafistine market. Or as we've seen in another video, maybe you haven't seen that one, is we can use it up at our greenhouses or the community garden or the farm gardens. As far as our packing facility goes, our packing facility is going to take the bulk compost. It's going to unload it into our big pack 
master. We have our interactive icon where we can turn it on and off from here. We can also change the appearance coming around the back. Left click, and we can just repeat the whole thing. And we're going to see now pallets of compost coming down the line and then palletized here. Now this facility also requires another new input in empty pallets. Pallet production is going to be over here at the sawmill. You can find that kind of to the north and west of the starting farm. Just north of field 23. And the empty pallets are individual pallets. We're going to bring planks from the sawmill to this location. And then we're going to activate our pallet production here. So far, the compost palletizer is the only production that is going to require pallets. Now back here at our palletizing facility, we also have another little trick up its sleeve. That is we have pallet storage, where we can store a total of 90 pallets. And very, very similar to the hops video, where we had built-in hops storage, we can enable automatic storage here as well. So when we do that, we're going to left click and you'll see the storage icon is going to move over here so this is now the input for our pallet storage and this is also where a full pallet of compost is going to spawn therefore once we have a full pallet of compost it is just going to instantly be taken here into storage you can easily disable that by coming back over here left click and it says turn off automatic storage and now it is turned off then the last thing that I want to show you here is going to be our stone crusher and the stone crusher is going to take stones either stones that you collect off the field and or stones from our composting plant and produce grit or crushed stone and we're going to be able to sell that crushed stone over at a construction supplement. Let's load our stone out of our composting facility. Put it into our stone crusher. Turn that now on. Don't fall in. That would be a very bad time. Then our crushed stone is going to pile up. And we also have the ability, once again, to come around the back and change this from new to a worn appearance. Once we collect our stones, we can put it into a trailer. And then we'll take this down to our construction facility. We're going to find the construction site right across the street from the fuel point, which is right down the street from our vehicle dealer. And as I mentioned in the What's New video, this is also going to be a sell point for beer and planks. So there goes our crushed gravel. And our crushed gravel is going to sell for $350. This is again on easy mode. And right now the price fluctuation is pretty narrow between 357 and 348. So guys, that is everything you need to know in order to make use of the new composting facility here on Hofbergman 
1.5. As I mentioned, everything we knew about compost up to this point is still in effect. It still can be used on the fields as a fertilizing additive, similar to manure. It can still be created by adding organic waste to the composting bunker that is across the street from the main farm. And there's also several various ways of obtaining organic waste, which is of course the input into our composting facility and our compost bunkers. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to compost and Hoff Bergman, the map itself. And until next time, happy farming.